The ability to ask good and appropriate questions in the right way is a big skill set in facilitation. Here's some quotes from the famous success coach Anthony Robbins. And if you look at those, you can see that pretty much um, the way we can shape experience helps students to learn, get them thinking, and focus their mind um, can be brought about through the kind of questions that we ask. And this is going to be particularly important when students present their work so we can make their thinking visible. So let's have a look at the types of questions. Firstly, there is a very specific factual type question. So we might say to students, look, you've set up this circuit design. Well, how will that create the necessary current for this particular aspect of the, um, the engineering system? Or how will a particular component they've put into the design affect the performance of a, a particular area that they're interested in? Moving beyond, the more factual, descriptive type questions, we want to get students to uh, think in critical and creative ways, uh, particularly in critical ways, so that they can unpack what they're doing in relation to the, the project that they're working on. So you may say to the students, well, you're doing it this way. Well, uh, what assumptions are you making about the client group or particular um, theories that they're, they're using and applying? Or if there's different stakeholders, well, how might it be perceived by uh, this group as compared to this group based on their interests? And finally, it's not just about asking these initial questions, but to, to probe de deeper. And this involves, remember, in facilitation, there's a lot of skills. Quick thinking uh, on your part to actually come up with the probing questions. So if students are doing something, we might say, well, okay, well, tell me a little bit more about this, or um, what made you feel that this was the be best option, or... Um, um, how might this um, have some negative effects? Um, how will different parties, different stakeholders, as mentioned before, uh, perceive this? And the magic wand question, if you're not familiar with it, is, is a kind of a wishful thinking type situation. If we could do this, or if we were able to find a way of accessing uh, this information, what could you do that perhaps would enhance it further? So this is the basic question in format with the different types that can be used to, to powerfully make the student um, thinking visible and to help the learning process.